So the dua of Surah Al-Baqarah, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina adhaban nar. That's the dua mentioned in Muzdalifah. The Quran speaks about a dua you should make in Muzdalifah. The Quran mentions a dua that you should mention in Muzdalifah. Not just in Muzdalifah, but it's speaking about Muzdalifah and Arafah and during Hajj. What is it? If someone says, you're going for Hajj, you must make dua that Allah forgives you and grants you Jannah. We would say, yes, ultimately that's what I want. Whoever goes for Hajj and the Hajj is accepted from them, Allah will forgive their sins and grant them Jannah. But Allah says, don't forget to make dua for your life as well. Make dua for your money, your health. Who's telling you this? Allah is telling it to you. Where? The dua I read. Allah says, when, we, when they get to Muzdalifah, some people say, oh Allah, give us the world, give us the world, give us the world. When, when we say world, we're talking of materialistic issues and things. But they forget to make dua and to supplicate for the hereafter. So Allah says, you should strike the balance by saying, oh Allah, grant me goodness in this world, grant me goodness in the hereafter, and protect me from the punishment of the fire. What a beautiful du'a.